Uh, what a tremendous year we've had uh, at Sandbag. We've had so many great accomplishments as well as challenges throughout the year. I've enjoyed working with all the members of the board as we move forward on so many different projects and have accomplished and completed so many projects, namely the DeVore Interchange. That is probably the milestone of this year as we uh, opened that interchange on May 20th. And as you can tell, the traffic is flowing freely through that interchange at this point. You know, Sandbag touches the opportunity of economic development in more ways that we typically realize or we think about transportation, but it's every component of our success. Uh, our ability to come back and if we look at the queue, commute within the high desert and back to the Inland Valley, becoming a known 35, 45 minute commute, uh, that's an opportunity and, and, and uh, increases the quality of life for the constituents within the first. We have 85 now, 90,000 daily commuters. Uh, believe me, every minute that's shortened improves not only, uh, it, it touches all components of their life. It's more family time, it's better time spent on the weekend, and really it's good for the environment. It's less time being parked in your car. Sandbag will have that leadership role moving forward within the county. Southern California Association of Government Skag have six counties. Uh, Sandbag is one of them, and if, if you can keep a secret, it's my favorite uh, of the six. Being a resident of San Bernardino County, I think San Bernardino is in good hands when it comes to Sandbag, so I'm very impressed. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to, to collaborate uh, with Sandbag uh, as their MPO. One of the uh, greatest accomplishments of this year was moving forward on our express lanes I-10, I-15 corridor projects. Uh, we have just completed the draft environmental circulation and uh, that is the I-10 portion, the beginning portion of the Express Lanes project is moving forward. But challenging uh, subject to address, especially with the regional board. Uh, we had many debates over many different issues related to this project, uh, but what it, it did show is that as a board we could move forward and accomplish uh, what we set out to accomplish in moving this project uh, forward. You know, leadership is about doing things that are uh, not easy. Um, and, and I believe Sandbag have the leadership uh, and the staff capability to do those. So I'm really impressed. And looking forward, I, I think the whole county is going to benefit from the kind of things that Sandbag is looking at. You know, Sandbag not only as a transportation organization, functions as a cog. Proactively, West look within the community and look at the areas of education, look at the areas of quality of life. Uh, it's a great responsibility, not just a single source. And seeing the group act in this direction or being making a shift is, is positive, again, for the constituents and citizens of San Bernardino County. And there's uh, just been a tremendous amount of, of work by the board to move forward on Council of Governments issues. Uh, we continue to have uh, the HERO program, which does financing of uh, home improvements, energy efficiency, home improvements, and that continues to be a tremendous success here in our county. As vice chair, I've had a great opportunity working with Chair, President, and President Ryan McAkron. Uh, Victorville City Councilman, uh, he and I share uh, the same part of the high desert uh, within the first district, and I look forward to continuing that relationship as we move and jointly build coalitions on major projects within the county.